Becky Gilbert from Yummy Plans, and I am here with Michael Thomas, the VP of Guest Experience for ISP Leisure, and it's his company that provided all the food for this amazing vegan adventure. And Michael's been in the travel industry for many, many years, and I wanted to talk to him about the changes that he's seen with people and their dietary interests. There's actually been a huge uh, evol evolution, I'd like to call it, over the past 10 years, and even more so over the past five years, where we're finding more and more guests will cruise as they will travel elsewhere on land-based uh, excursions as well. But more and more people are coming on board ships that have special dietary preferences, like gluten-free, vegetarian, and especially vegan now. In fact, more and more we're finding that uh, people are coming on with requests that might be slanted towards vegan diets. And so we want to try to be on the cutting edge of things and we want to be a leader rather than a follower. So we want to make sure that we have enough of a variety of the uh, culinary elements on board to satisfy just about every culinary uh, dietary need. And one of those is vegan. We're finding, as I said, more and more people are coming on with that kind of dietary preference. So we started to build a foundation so that we could make sure that any guest that came on board that had a dietary requirement such as vegan would be able to find that there's more than just the, uh, the very elemental basics available to him or her, and that they could have a great culinary experience on the cruise just like any other passenger on board the ship. Oh, and it's, it's really, really true. Michael, you and your team have done an amazing job. There's been a ton of great vegan food, and it's been very exciting. Michael and I have been talking to talk about what kinds of vegan basics he would want to use to stock his kitchen um, so that there will be even more vegan food available and different types of recipes for other vegans. In fact, one of the foods that we were talking about, we've got it over here. Michael, can you grab the glasses and the drinks? So. I don't go anywhere when I'm traveling without my So Delicious Coconut Milk because I love this stuff. It is so good. And Michael has never tried it. It's really, really yummy. I have the vanilla flavor here because for the aseptic packaging, there's just a few flavors. At home, I drink the unsweetened version, but we've got the vanilla here. And I would love Michael to have a chance to try this so he can consider keeping it in stock for the ship. We're going to. Some yeah, Rebecca, here. I'd also like to add that uh, when our corporate chef uh, constructed our menu cycle, um, we have a vegetarian dish every night and other dishes as well that readily can be converted to vegan with a few minor adjustments in the recipe combinations. So we have a lot of flexibility here. We want to grow this aspect of our culinary offering as well. So uh, we appreciate your being here to give us some good tips and guidance as to how we can further develop our program. Thank you, and I so appreciate that you're really interested in making sure there is good vegan food. Well, well, it's all about choices. That's one thing that's really part of the evolution in cruise line culinary offerings is that more and more we're catering to a, a myriad of choices. And on a small ship like this, of course, you're somewhat limited in terms of the space, but we want to also be able to, however, uh, compensate with a small space by offering more varieties of types of foods so that every guest that comes on board, if they have a special dietary requirement, we can fulfill that requirement. That's fantastic. Yeah, Thank you. Great. Let's try the coconut milk. Okay. Cheers, so cheers to all good things in all ways. sailing. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that is so delicious. Isn't that yummy? I feel healthier already. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. I appreciate your time.